So, you finally made it here. How the hell did you get here first? There's no way you could survive what I just went through. <laughs> Maybe you underestimate old people. Well, my story is not as complicated as yours. Either way, the only thing that matters is you're here. So is the clock nearby. How can I destroy it? I saw how you tried to smash the Corsilla, so I'm sure you have the power to stop the clock. You can either stop it or smash it. Up to you. But before you can do this, you need to find your answers. You need to understand why you promised you never return to this place. Answers? Look at the graves. They contain countless stories. Someday you'll return to Everything you went through will be buried with you as well. Are you saying that everything is pointless? That no matter what that no matter what I do, it'll all end up at the bottom of a grave. <laughs> no. Follow me. Someone who wants to meet you right now. Here? In this wasteland? Daniel. What? How? I wanted to apologize. What? You you couldn't have survived such a fall. I was so pissed off when I realized who you really are. That even with the whole world turned upside down, you're still here. It made me think, maybe you're not looking for Stella. Maybe you are looking for yourself. I shouldn't stop believing in you. Obviously she doesn't want to talk about her fall, and I have my doubts about what happened after that. It's not natural that I'm alive, either. The real reason I was so angry at you is that I lost a child as well, and I felt that, unlike me, you actually had a chance to find yours. Ella, I'm so sorry. I, I don't know what to say. What happened? He was still unborn, and I was forced to do it. But I don't want to talk about that anymore. Last time we met, you mentioned a letter. Can you give it to me now? I destroyed it. How could you? It was my last clue to find Stella. I don't think you need any more clues, Dan. You just need to understand who you really are. And reading that letter would not help you. Even now, you're not ready for what was written there. And you? Why are you still here? I don't have any other place to go, Daniel. I never did. Now that the world is destroyed, you sentenced me to stay here, with you, but now you have to go. It's time for you to find the truth. Will I ever see you again? Please. I'm sure you will.
Huh, nothing happened. You're awake? Yeah, I just wanted to apologize. Apologize? For what? You know, you've always been so nice to me. <laughs> Too nice. <laughs> Don't sweat it. <laughs> no, I mean it. I just hate him so much. me in that bunker who knows where I would be right now actually I was really worried so I'm glad I got there before you vanished but you need to rest you still look real pale yeah I do feel like shit I should get some more sleep to make that potion. This is really not something I should drink.
Where have you been? I went for groceries. The fridge is empty and I needed something for breakfast tomorrow. Groceries? It's past 11. There was this idiot who parked so badly he blocked my car and I was stuck. It took them like an hour to find him and then he had to go and find... What are you doing, Dan? Well, they always put the receipt in the bag. I just want to see it. So what? I paid it with my own money. Leave me alone. For once? Please? I'm not looking for the price. Ah, here it is. Let me see. <laughs> what is this shit? An interrogation? Well, you did go shopping, but when you paid the bill, it wasn't even five o'clock. If your bullshit about the car was true, that's still five missing hours. Care to tell me what you were doing all that time? Okay. I met an old friend that I hadn't seen for many years. So we talked for a long time. Listen, I'm sorry, can this just end? I want to take a shower and I'm exhausted. Where did you go with her? That's enough. I can do whatever I want and you have absolutely no right to interrogate me. I'll tell you what we both know. You've been cheating on me again and you are so stupid that you let the whole world know. And here's a little surprise for you. I know exactly where you've been all this time. Piss off, you fucking creep. You're spying on me? Oh, no. I'm just concerned for your safety. Or maybe I just like taking precautions to see when you're fucking your friend. I'm keeping track of all the days when you came home suspiciously late. Of course, I could drive to his house and pick you up, but it would be too much of a hassle. You are crazy. And I want to ask you one more thing. Were you also grocery shopping when Stella was conceived? What a great detective you are. And such clever methods. I got it. You're the new Sherlock. She was cheating on me. I'm not even sure I believed Stella was my daughter after I found out how often Ida was screwing around behind my back. Truly, you are the last honorable man on earth. Although, Nina, that was her name, right? What about her? <laughs> I believe she was more than an instructor to you. Anyway, <laughs> I think it's time for you to return. Stella is still waiting to be found. What's wrong with you? Are you sick? I... You wouldn't give a shit anyway! Last month you were obviously well enough to run away. 
Do you know how much time it takes to find you every time you decide to pack your shit and take off? So I'm gonna say, right here, right now, what I think of you. You're a spoiled brat who can't handle any responsibility. Whenever you don't want to do something, you suddenly turn into a crybaby and fall mysteriously ill. In other words, you're total bullshit. Did Stella ever tell you why she wasn't at camp last year? Even though Alexander was there? No. I, I thought she didn't want... She was in a hospital. I don't believe she was there because of fake pain. That's crap. No. It just shows how little you really cared. Apart from your self-proclaimed duty to track down her cell and bring her back home. But how could I know? She lives with Ida. If they won't tell me... You're lying, Daniel. Last July, you never bothered to call her. Even once. Otherwise, you would have known where she was. She wouldn't accept a call from me. <laughs> and you should ask yourself, why was that?
the bunker again. My guts tell me Stella is somewhere inside. Just hope I'm not too late. Another one. There's no way I'm going through these things.
You know, you really should work on your voice more if you want to sing. Staying in tune and keeping in rhythm, it's something anyone can do, so uh, at least try. You don't want to end up like Hetla. There are stories to tell. Some of them happy. Some of them happy. Some less. In every heart, there's a story. 
there's a story it's hidden as well. The outside world. It's hidden to the sometimes outside world. It stays silent. Sometimes. And sometimes it stays someone sets it free. Sometimes for others someone to smile. sets it free. Others pass by. For some to laugh. For others <coughs> to cry.
So you finally understand? But why me? You can find similar stories behind thousands of closed doors, Daniel. Children or adults trying to survive their lives in the best possible way. And many of them live in their own personal health. Yours will last as long as you let the clock devour the world. At this point, I don't care about your stupid clock. There's nothing left for me in this world. That might be, but still. There's someone waiting for you on this path. Maybe you will change your mind and find them worthy of your help. Goodbye, Daniel. you so much. Really? You haven't forgotten me? How could I? I would never have guessed you were one of those dolls. <laughs> you called me my doll when I was little. Maybe that's why I became one. Anyway, thank you for my Rosie. It was funny how she was missing some of her parts. Still, it's the thought that counts. It was a nightmare to get the doll back. I have to go now, but thank you again. You are the best. you that we would meet again. That time is now. I think I finally understand. You never existed, right? Yeah, but you got me quite right. What does or doesn't exist is based solely on our memory, Dan. If you can remember me, I exist. I'm glad I returned, if only to meet you. <laughs> I was happy to help. I knew you'd need someone to take care of you. Thank you for everything, Elle. It was my pleasure. Good luck with the cloth. Stella, aren't you? The true one. <laughs> maybe I am, maybe I'm not. I'm so sorry for everything I ever did to you. I didn't realize. Didn't I tell you that you'd find what you were looking for? And that you might not like it? You didn't believe me, right? But I'm happy that you kept looking until you found the truth. But even then, it was always about your ego. Many times you picked your own interests when given the choice or chickened out instead of facing yourself. Sadly, at this point you will never learn the whole story. Still, you know just enough to understand why you must stop the clock now. What happens when I do? Who knows? But one thing is certain. You'll destroy the beast. Do it for the three of us. Then I don't need to know anything more. Goodbye, Daniel.
Was that really the beast? Looks like I won't have to fight him after all. <laughs>